Hicks and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here joined with Sniper West to talk some college football for Saturday, September 14th. If you made it through Friday the 13th, good job. Now we're here as college football, September 14th. We're going to talk Alabama and Wisconsin, and to do that, uh, well, I already said we're bringing Wes in, but you guys are going to like, share, subscribe, use the promo code below. That saves you 20% off your entire purchase, picks and parlays. Dot net is where you go. You get all your premium plays over there. Uh, West Alabama, fourth in the country, two and oh, taking out Wisconsin. They're also two and oh, they're not ranked. Totals at 50 and a half. Alabama, big favorite here. Where are you going with this one, West? What do you say? Well, I am gonna go contrarian because I know everybody and their mother is on Alabama, but I am on whiskey, as I like to call them. Some people call them scony. But uh, I'm on with Wisconsin here. I'm taking the points. So That's fair. Uh, they're playing. These two teams are playing for the first time since 2015, and Bama won that game 35-17. But the big thing for me here, Lenny, is they have Georgia on deck, right? So it's a clear look at spot for me. And Bama struggled versus USF for the first three quarters. I mean, the score of that game, I think they won by three touchdowns or something. But that score is not indicative of how close that game really was. The whole game. I watched that whole game. And they were in trouble for the first half, even into the third quarter. I was thinking it might be an upset before, you know, Bama, they scored 28 points in the fourth quarter. So, you know, now they face Wisconsin at Camp Randall. Whiskey's going to be up for this game. I'm telling you, Luke Fickle, he's going to have his team up. They've had this game circled all off season, right? And Bama's going to get their Wisconsin's best shot for sure. Milrow, he went 17 to 27 for 199 and two touchdowns last week for his USF. And they did rush for 194, but here's the thing. Their defense to USF, they gave up 206 yards on the ground, right? And what do you think Scani's going to do? What are they all about? They're all about running the rock. So if they're giving up 206 to USF, I mean, what's Whiskey going to do to them? They're going to control the clock. They're going to run the ball. It looks like they're going to have success if Alabama can't stop USF. And I think they're going to play time of possession. I think they're going to play keep away keep uh, Milrow off the field and I like Wisconsin to hang tough here. It's kind of an ugly play, but right. you know, uh, you know, that's what uh, happens. You got to bet ugly sometimes in college. Hey, it's, they don't all have to be pretty, right? That's if it's right. a no brainer on every time, everybody'd be doing it. Okay. Exactly. It's probably a sweat. I think it's 13 is a good number. I don't like 16. Like I'm not betting the money line. I'm not running into the window to do that, but the points here, I like the points here. This hey, Wisconsin's made a teaser card for me as well, and yeah. taking it over to twenty-one it, with other teams. But I like the points here. I think they backdoor cover in some kind of way. It's a grinded out kind of game. Wisconsin yeah. plus the sixteen and a half whiskey for the win, folks. Good luck unless you're against us. We'll see you on another one. Not actually for the win, but just with the points. You know what I mean.